Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica here with Will Safford from Order in Progress. And we were talking about what we think the best single kettlebell exercise for jujitsu is. What do you think? I think it's the Turkish get up. I agree. I did 10 years of jujitsu back when it was still Japanese jujitsu. Will is a modern jujitsu competitor. How long have you been in? 14 years. 14 years. Okay, so way above me at this point. So, why do you think the Turkish get up is the best exercise? for jujitsu. I think the Turkish get up is the best exercise because it delivers so many of the qualities that you need for jujitsu. The Turkish get up mobilizes your body, mobilizes your shoulder, your hips, your spine, your thoracic spine. It strengthens your shoulders, makes your shoulders more resilient. It strengthens your core in all planes of motion. That's exactly like what you need for jujitsu. And it integrates the entire body. So it's very similar to what you're going to experience. It actually is a movement. We have a sweep called the Turkish Get Up Sweep in Jiu Jitsu. It's an actual movement that you're gonna use on the mat as well. I wish that I had known about this exercise back when I did uh, Jiu Jitsu because Jiu Jitsu is constantly being slammed and people are trying to rip your body in half all the time. And when I first learned the Turkish Get Up, my game improved drastically because even though I grew up on a farm and I was a carpenter and I worked out all the time, I still wasn't fully integrated. Mm. I had weak points in my body. The Turkish Get Up was one of those first exercises that showed me that I had big holes and gaps in my movement, specifically in the hip lift up. We practiced something we used to call judo get ups. I think you probably call it something like a technical stand up yeah, now. Exactly. And I realized that I had a big hole in my movement right there. I was very good at lifting objects in straight lines, but I was not great at rotating under load. It was a pretty big realization for me when I practiced martial arts and just practicing the Turkish get up helped me massively in getting up better, faster. Yeah, absolutely. You said it right there. It also exposes asymmetries in your side. So of course that doesn't mean you're going to get injured. But in a sport like jiu-jitsu where the, ob the objective is to actually injure the other person, <laughs> you want to try to give your body the best shot of not getting hurt. So first identifying some of those asymmetries that you can work on and, and improve over time is, is one, one of the factors that makes the, the get up you know, so, so useful to the grappler. Now I actually break get ups down into a bunch of small pieces. When I first started doing get up training, we just did full get ups and we would do something like five minutes, the length of a roll, and we would practice doing get ups for that amount of time. Over time, I found that I could get even better at it by breaking it down into a bunch of small drills. So taking each individual position in the get up and turning that into its own drill. So practicing the full drill and then practicing breakdowns. The exact same way that you do in jujitsu, where you break a movement down into component pieces and drill small parts of it over and over and over again, and then recombine it all together. It's a simple idea, but people don't do it with kettlebells that much, but it helped me massively. There's so many different ways that you can program the get up. You can do them unweighted as a mobility exercise right before a jiu-jitsu class. You can use light weight and go for higher reps to really build that endurance. You can do, use heavy weight to build strength. One of my favorite things though is actually that first movement. I call it the Turkish sit up because that is so relevant in jiu-jitsu when you have to create space. Jiu-Jitsu is very much about creating space and using wedges, wedging yourself between the mat and your opponent to create space to counter, defend, attack, whatever you have to do. And when you practice that with heavier and heavier loads, not only are you building your core strength and power to create that space, you're building very resilient frames. And framing is what allows you to keep the space between you and your opponent. So everyone knows your shoulders get attacked in Jiu-Jitsu. When you are working with a weight overhead, you're creating stability, resilience, and these are exactly the things that you need on the mat. I always think of endurance as a combination of three things, structure, breathing, and movement. You have to have movement relevant to your sport, and the goal is to load your structure in each one of those positions so that you can then integrate that with your breathing so that you can learn to endure better when somebody's trying to rip you in half. It is a simple idea, but it's not oftentimes talked about breaking things down, practicing them over and over. You're absolutely never ever done with the basics. White belt, brown belt, black belt, you're always working on the basics and the better your structure, your breathing and your movement get in each one of those things, the better everything gets. Absolutely. And the get up is just so much delivered to you in one package. So all of us are strapped for time. You know, no one seems to have extra time these days. 
And especially if you want to get good at jujitsu, you have to spend more time doing jujitsu. But of course you have the dilemma of the more time you're on the mat, the more chances you have of getting hurt. The Turkish getup is like a catch-all. It gives you almost everything you need for resilient jujitsu. And you can do it before training, you can do it on its own, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of time either. What do you think? Is the five minute time frame still relevant? Just pick up a weight, do it for five minutes, do more in the same amount of time? Absolutely, I think five max 10 minutes with, uh, with the getup is all you need.